Hello, welcome. WASI 2023 Elective Maths, the Federal Mathematics, Subjective Test Questions, Question 7. So, three forces, force 1, that is 2m plus n, and the force 2, minus 3m plus n, and that the force 3 is 4m minus 6n. Act on a body with mass 12 kg. We have to find the magnitude of the acceleration of the body. How do you find acceleration? You know, acceleration is going to be in connection with what? Force, mass. So the force is there, the mass is given. So I know that force is equal to the mass of the body times the acceleration. So if I want to find the acceleration, I need the mass of the body. I also need the force at which it's working. But in this case, which of the force am I going to use? There are three forces and they have only one mass. We can't find the acceleration of all the forces because you have only one mass. So we need to find the total force, which is called the resultant force. And in order to find the resultant force, we know the resultant force is going to be the addition of the first force plus the second force plus what? The third force. So I can have a single force, a single mass to work with. So how do I get that? Your resultant force is going to be the first one, which is in 2m plus n. Then the second one will be negative 3m plus 4n. Then the final one will be 4m minus 6n. And this is a simple algebraic uh, terms. So m, m, m will come together. Then the n, n, n will also work together. So in this case, I have my 2m minus 3m minus 6m. That's in the m coming together. Then the n plus 4n. This is going to be minus 6n. This right here is supposed to be plus 4m. M, m, m. Okay. So this is going to be 2 minus 3. That will be negative 1. Negative 1 plus 4, I believe that will give us 3. So in this case, our resultant force will be having the M to be 3M. Then let's deal with the N. This plus this, I believe, will give us 5. 5 minus uh, 6 will give us negative 1, right? So if that is negative 1, we have it here as negative n. So we know the resultant force. From the formula we quoted, mass equals to force equals to the mass times acceleration. Making the acceleration the subject, your acceleration is going to be the force of the body, we in this case, resultant force will be equals to this divided by the mass. We simply put the force, 3m minus n, divided by the mass, which we know as what? 12. So this is what we have. But the numerator is binomial. So we can either separate the denominator according to each of them, or just take it out as a fraction. What I mean is that I can have 3m divided by 12 minus n divided by 12. Right? I'm separating the denominator. If I look for the LCM, it will step back to what? 12. I'm doing this because I know there's a common factor for 3 and 12. So that becomes 3 go here, 1. So M out of 4 minus N out of 12. Don't forget, acceleration is what? Meter per second squared. So this becomes the acceleration. You can decide to take your 12 out here as a fraction multiplying 3m minus n. This will also be the final answer. You can present this or present this as your final answer. So this becomes the acceleration. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.